How's it going everybody? My name is Lucian. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Plex on a Linux server so you can stream media uh, that you own for free. First thing we're going to want to do is make sure our system is up to date by doing sudo at update and sudo at upgrade minus y. I'm going to run that. All right, everything is good to go. So let's clear all this out. You don't have to clear it. I'm just clearing it. You don't have to be clearing anything. I should say, I'm just going to be clearing things as I go along. So it looks clean in the video. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do is create a new user with sudo add user. We're going to call him Plex and then create a password for that user. And enter. And in case you're wondering, you do need to call the user Plex. If you don't, you're gonna run into some permissions issues, which we're not gonna be going over in this video. You can fix it and change it, but I don't wanna to get too technical in these videos. These videos I like to keep relatively like beginner friendly kind of thing. So, all right, now that we created that user, we're going to make that user a sudoer. So we can do sudo user mod dash lowercase a capital G sudo. And then the user, which we call Plex. All right. All right. So now that we, now what we need to do is download the repo for Plex. So I'm going to copy and paste some commands I have here off to the side, and I'm going to have all the commands down in the description below. So the first command be this, we're going to paste that in just after you copy it, just right click on the terminal and it should paste it. Enter. Once that's done, we're going to copy this command, paste that into our terminal. All right. And once we do that, now we're going to switch over to, to our Plex user by doing su space dash Plex and then giving in that password. I want to clear all this out. And then we're going to do sudo app update to update all of our repos to the Plex password here since we made it a sudo -er. We could have done that. We could have updated it before we logged into uh, Plex over here, but just to make kind of things easy here. All right, now that we updated everything with the new repos, now we can install the media server by doing sudo apt install Plex media server and then hitting enter. And this right here is why we said, why we, this right here is why I said um, we need to make the user Plex because it does it automatically. When it, when, it, uh, when it sets up a service, it's just easier. Like I said, you can change it. Uh, it's just easier just to make a Plex user. All right, once the server is installed, we're going to create a couple directories with MKDR. Uh, so, oops, dash P. Then the uh, shift and the tilde key to make that squiggly line, whatever that's called. Uh, we'll do slash media slash we're going to create a couple folders here. So we're going to do movies, uh, TV, music. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, you can create other stuff too. If you want to have like, like home movies and stuff like that. But for, for me, that's all I'm going to create. You can always make directories and add them in later. This is just creating everything now. So if we do LS, you see we have a media folder. So if we see the into the media folder and do another LS, you see we got movies, music, and TV for our TV shows. So now that all the folders are created, we are going to start the service by doing sudo <clears throat> system CTL enable. Then we're gonna do flex media server. This will enable it. Uh, so whenever, uh, the system restarts or whatever happens Let's say your, your Linux server crashes. And once you turn it back on, uh, Plex will automatically start back up. So now we're actually going to start it. Sudo system CTL start. If I can spell it right, start Plex media server. Then we're going to hit enter and then that starts it. And then we can do sudo system CTL status, put some media server. And then you can see it's here and running. 
So we're going to do a control C to close all that and I'm going to clear it out again. So now if you want to access your server outside of the network, you're going to need a port forward, but we're also going to need to open up the port in the firewall. I don't do port forwarding in my videos because it's different for everybody because everybody has different routers. I am going to walk through the steps for the firewall real quick and then we'll jump into our browser and finish setting it up in the browser. So first thing we'll do sudo ufw allow 22 dash tcp, not dash, forward slash tcp. We're gonna enter. Uh, we use this port for SSH, as you can see up here. This is my local server IP right here. Then that, that colon 22 is the actual port number for SSH. So that's what, that's the default port for SSH. So we need this. So once we actually enable the firewall, because normally by default, the firewall is disabled. Once we enable it, uh, we don't want our connection to be interrupted. So we just go ahead, add that in there. And then we also need to do the port for Plex, which is sudo UFW uh, allow uh, 32400 slash TCP as well. And enter on that. And then if we can do sudo UFW enable. And then this is just asking us, or this is just telling us about the um, disturbed connections, interrupted connections, which we don't need to worry about. We've already allowed it. We're going to type in Y, then hit enter. And then we can do sudo UFW status. If you want to see it, you see that the status is active. And we opened up port 22 and 32400. Then we can clear all this out if you want to, or you can leave it. We're done in the terminal. The rest of the setup will take place in the browser, which we can go ahead and pull up. So in order to access your server on the browser, you're gonna need the IP address of the server, which is the same IP address that you use to connect via SSH. So mine was 192.168.1.125. Then the port, which is 32400. And then we need to do forward slash web, <laughs> enter. And then this is our web server. You're going to need to log in with whatever account. If you don't have an account, then you can register. It is free, but you do need to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with my information and I'm going to go ahead and sign it. Now we finished the rest of the setup. So from here, we're going to click got it. And then this is just a pop up for the paid services, which we're not going to worry about. So we're just going to hit the X right here. And this is to set up our name of the server, our plug server. Mine just uh, listen YouTube because that's just the name of my actual uh, box. But you can change that. Leave this ticked if you want to uh, access the media from outside your network. Um, if you don't want to access it from outside your network, then you can untick it. So change the name. Leave that tick or on tick, depending on what you want. After that, you're gonna hit next. Wait for that to do its thing. All right, and now once we're here, we need to add the folders for our library. So we're gonna click add library. Um, uh, the other one was photos. That's okay. Like I said, you can add that stuff later. So we're gonna click on movies, hit next, browse folder. We're gonna click the forward slash in our home directory then go to Plex, Media, and then Folder for Movies. I'm gonna add, add library. We're gonna add another library for our TV shows. So we're gonna click on TV, shows, browse, forward slash, home, Plex, media, TV, add, and then do it one more time for music. And then we're gonna, after we've added everything, we're going to hit next. And then we're going to hit done. And just like that, we are logged into our Plex server. Now you're gonna see a whole bunch of uh, stuff over here from uh, when I did this earlier. Um, but if you click on more, this is our, this is our service. 
our stuff right here. Right now, everything's empty. So we're going to add some media into it. We're going to use FTP to do that. Do that however you want, whether it be FileZilla or WinSCP. I prefer WinSCP, but if you like FileZilla, you know, it's on you. Do what you want. So we're going to open up FTP and we're going to connect to the server. All right, quick. Now that we are connected to our FTP, if we want to add some music, we can just click on music. And then from here, we can drag and drop whatever music that we want to add to the server. So let me find a song real quick. All right, then we're just gonna drop a song in here and that's uploaded. it. Let's see if we can drop a movie in here as well. Let me see what movies I have. All right, now that we dumped in a movie and some music, we can go back to, we can go back to our browser here. And then let's say we click on music. We just click these little three dots right here next to music and hit scan library files. And once we refreshed, you can see we have a song that I transferred over. And then we have our movie as well. We don't have any TV shows, so that's still gonna be empty. And that's that, and then you just transfer over whatever music or movies that you want. Then you can stream them for, from anywhere. That, anywhere that has Plex. So download Plex on your phone, just connect it to your server, you log in and you're good to go. One thing I did need to note that whatever you install this on, make sure you have the resources, of course. You don't want to install a server if you only have eight gigabytes of storage, because then, well, you're only gonna be able to hold either a small handful of movies or you probably hold a decent amount of music. Movies and TV shows are usually pretty large. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have enough space to store all that in. So well, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.